Okay. So the warm up is 100 jumping jacks. I told you it was easy, but that's not the end. Um, and then I put 30 mountain climbers. So 100 jumping jacks and 30 mountain climbers, and like one, two, eight. Yeah. So 100 and then 30. Tango. 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 Not too bad, right? All right. Next circles. <laughs> Other way. down. Side to side. Ear to shoulder. Other circles. Other way. Elbow circles. Other way. Cross your chest. Uh, overhead. Hip circles. I need those for a while. Go away.
Uh, legs wide, reach down. Reach over to your left. Reach over to your right. To your right, turn your foot and both of your feet here, right arm up. Other arm. Both arms down, back knee down, straighten the front leg, reach forward. Place that front foot back down, collapse it into pigeon. Let's go straight down and forward. Back up, place your foot back down, all the way back up into the split sort of. Uh, let's just take a second and turn our fingers back and try to massage out or circle out our wrists, and elbows, and shoulders. All right, from here, turn to your left, turn both your feet to your left. Here, right hand down, left hand up. Other hand. Both hands down, back knee down, straighten the front leg, reach forward. Put back down, go into pigeon, reach forward. All right, come back up, all the way up to that split stance. Back of your hand on the mat. Stretch out your wrist here. All right, from here, walk your hands forward. Drop your knees to the ground. Lean your hips to the ground. A knee stretch or whatever the stretch is. All right, sit back to child pose. Lean over to the left.
Lean over to the right. Back to the middle again. Both hands over your head. Walk your elbows forward. All right, release. On your back, hip escape. Hip escape in place, or hip, es hip escape across your mat. Go, hip escape. Bridge, left, right shoulder. Triangle. Armbar escape. All right, um, hip thrust to the arm bar setup. So, hip thrust, not really an arm bar setup, but it's where your legs go. So, step across, pivot, back, hip thrust. Just another step. Probably really need a better.
All right, um, one more. Back roll, um, get your knee up and do a knee slide. So back roll, get my knee up, do a knee slide. Back roll, knee up right away, knee slide. So Michelle, you don't want to step backwards. You want to keep moving forward. So one knee, when you roll back, touches the ground. The other knee stays off the ground. So by rolling back, this knee is going to touch the ground if I'm going over my right shoulder here. This knee stays off the ground, and then just come up. So I don't want to come here and put this knee up. I want to come through, and I want to be going forward already. Like when somebody's like double leg, whatever, double under as they go and flip you over, instead of just like winding up flat or whatever, you're gonna just like attack, sort of. All right. Time. Uh, get water, get your dummies. I'm going to show you a video first because we're going to review the crucifix. Are you laughing, Sarah? All righty, all righty, all righty. So, let me mute this. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. That button's not, oh, there it is, it's in green. Okay, share my screen. Yeah, so, uh, this is the dogfight position where you have the wizard or the overhook and the other person has the underhook. Um, yep. And you step out, come over, do the arm drag. So you get back into um, attacking the turtle. But since you did the arm drag, you can easily put that leg or that arm underneath your leg. Right, and then you're gonna capture that far arm. So I'm gonna rewind really quick. So you capture that close arm underneath your leg. That far arm, you're gonna go underneath the armpit and you're gonna grab the wrist. I guess I'm signaling it. And then you go underneath the head and do double hand control on the wrist. And you can sit back or go forward in this Example, I sat back because going forward was going to hit us into other things. So, yeah. Well, stop share. Can you, can you actually show it one more time? Can you show that arm drag part at the beginning? Is there any way to slow it down a little bit, Shaw? Like the oh, speed sure. of the video? If not, that's fine. No, there is a way to slow down the speed of the video. I just don't know where it is. Slower. There it is. Give me a second as I load it up to go slower. Thank you. 
playback. Uh, I just saw it. Where'd it go? Dang it. I just saw it. Where did it go? There it is. Speed. Snower. Share screen. This button. Share. Great. That's not really going slower. Okay. I'm going to show it one more time. It says it's playing slower. But who knows? I'm just going to show it one more time. I'm just gonna stop there because we're gonna roll forward for this drill because I think it's better to do. All right, so we are gonna do the um, dog fight position where we get that arm drag that I just showed, and then we're gonna get into crucifix. We're gonna do the three submissions, which is uh, the collar choke. Um, with, I'll show it, the collar choke, we have the arm bar, and then we're going to do just um, a regular, like, kind of, um, not rear naked, but rear naked -ish. So, I'll show you this one. So I'm here, they have the underhook, I have the overhook, right? They come up, I'm going to dive my hand underneath to drive that arm. As soon as I drive that arm, this other arm isn't underhooking anymore. So I come to the other come to the other side and underneath the armpit and I'm going to grab the wrist. Here. I'll grab the wrist. I'm going to tuck that underneath. This other hand, it doesn't always have to do this, but just for the security when you roll over, you can go underneath the head and double grab the wrist. You're going to roll over this shoulder that's closer to the legs. It's really the only shoulder you can go over. So then, for here, I have the arm underneath my, in my legs. I'm going to make an X at the wrist. Right? So, usually I'll when you first end up in the crucifix, it's usually going to be um, figure four like this. The foot that's on the bottom is going to find the wrist, and the second foot is going to reinforce that lock. I'm going to put my feet on the ground and hip up. That's the arm bar. If I don't have the arm bar, I can go here. I can since I have this arm captured, add this arm captured, this hand is free to dig into the collar, get as deep as you can. This hand then lets go of the wrist and it's gonna go behind the head and all the way to my um, tricep if I can. It'll usually tap before that as I'm here or Secure as I'm securing that, I'm going to push forward, right? Okay, that's number, yeah, that's here. I'm pulling and I'm pushing with this hand. Sometimes this hand isn't pushing at all, it's just going to trap, and this hand is doing the work and just doing this. Um, the other one is the other one is a no-gi version. I still have the hand captured. I have the hand captured, I don't have it right now. And this hand, instead of getting the collar, is gonna grab the tricep here, and I still have this hand captured. I'm then going to breathe in real deep, and then push my 
my shoulder into the back of their their neck. So I'm like doing this. So bell tap, Sarah taps, and I did it. Okay, those are the three submissions. So we're doing cruise fix review. Any questions? Yeah, Michelle. Maybe Emmy. So you got arm bar, loop choke, and then kind of that your single hand rear naked choke. I think I might just try to get the first two. Okay, that's fine. I struggled, I struggled so much last week. I'm just gonna try to start with the simple ones. Okay. So the other hand, Sarah, goes underneath their head. It did it to you. Yeah, there you go. And that's how you want to secure it, yes. Yeah, getting that arm is annoying. Come on, these dummies. You getting the little choke, I'm sure, yeah. Which one are you doing, Michelle? Do you stay on your back the whole time or are you sitting up? Say that again? Do you stay on your back? Yes. This. So I have, I have this arm. I have, their, I have this arm and I have this arm. And I have their collar. Right? Yep. That is correct. You're doing the loop choke version, so come into the camera more this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That works too. Uh, so the, the loop choke, you keep that arm there, keep that um, lapel. The other hand lets go of the wrist and is going to go behind the head. Oh yeah, I got that. Yeah. And then the other one was to grab their... Their trap. trap. Yeah. And, and you keep the hand. No, in that scenario, you keep the hand. Okay. And then you're going to breathe in real deep and put your shoulder into the back of their neck. Oh, this the same shoulders as arm. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, and then are you just kind of yanking down this arm with your? I'm securing it because they're they are very likely if you're you have somebody in the crucifix, they're trying to get that arm out. So you want to make sure that it doesn't pop out. So this is a crucifix because their arms are like this. If their arms are Jesus. Okay. I think I got it. Are you thinking? Can you watch me one time, Chai? I have a question about the second submission. Sure. Okay. So, I roll this way, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here. Yep. So the arm bar is just catch the ankle, cross, hips extend. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do on the dummy. Yeah. And then if I want to do the loop choke, the there's one arm, right? So my left arm is already reaching across their throat, essentially, to, to grab the wrist. Is that the one that grabs the collar? Yes. 
And then this stays underneath their arm and just goes behind and grabs my own like bicep. Yeah. And then, and then yep. here. Okay. And then the last one, the last one grabs this arm still stays underneath their arm and I grab. So that one, um, go back to, oh, I probably shouldn't have done it in this order. Go back to holding the hand with that yeah, okay. arm. That arm yep. is not going to do anything except keep the hand out of, out of the game. All right. So the other hand this that's one. underneath the neck is going to grab their trap. Oh, back here. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you're going to put your left shoulder into the back of their neck and then breathe real deep. Yeah. And where is this like, it's choking them? It's, it's a, ch yeah, it's a choke. Okay. Slash and neck crank, but yeah. Okay. It's uncomfortable. Okay, cool. How was it, Sarah? Was it a choke or was it a neck crank or a trachea smasher? Which one? The um, Nogi version. Uh, I think it's a choke. It was a choke? Okay. All right. Um, should we keep doing these? It's not weird. Uh, so, I have some turtle attacks that I wanted us to do. Um, and it's just getting the back and um, maneuvering some turtles. So, so if they're in turtle, here. Um, you can still try for the crucifix. A lot of the time their hand, if you didn't start from the dog bite, will be hidden in there and like blocking. So what I want to do is a lot of the time I'll get, uh, I won't be on their leg. So I'm here, I'm usually here trying to like control the turtle as they're moving around. I'll get the back of the collar here and then I'll get the back of the belt, and I'll actually hold onto it. And I'll lift them up a little. A lot of the time, um, they won't really let you or they'll try to attack you while you're trying to do this. And I'll lift them up a little bit. Sometimes I'll lift up just the front, just so I can get my knee. In. So I'm trying to get this knee in. Here. From here, I'm gonna grab the ankle, with my heel here, right? So I've gotten it here. I'm gonna grab the hip, and then I'm going to open up my my knee here, and I'm going to sit my butt down and pull them into that space. This foot is gonna come get that first hook. And I'll pull them even more. I'll hip escape back and get them into um, full back control. So I want my knee in. I'm just going to go on top so you can see. This knee is going to go inside, try to get into that space, create space um, into the turtle, turn here, and I'm going to face that way. My knee will be on the inside here. And I've done that by creating space here, and I'm dropping my knee in. And I usually put that knee up. I'm gonna grab the ankle over here, grab the hip, and from here, I'm gonna sit my butt back and pull them into that space. This foot pops up, I'm gonna get that as the first hook. This hand usually won't stay at the collar or the back of the collar. I'll try to get that underneath the neck. And then the second hook can come in. Yeah? So it's a back take. 
You can also do this with your hand. You can grab that ankle with the hand. Yeah? No? This is so hard on the dummy, Emmy, I feel. I just feel like my brain's not, like, doesn't know how to work. Okay. I'm just going to try. Just try it, yeah. That bottom leg, Michelle, has to pop out first to get that first one, yeah. So like, how do you roll them over? <laughs> how do you roll them over, like in, like into you? You're not rolling them over, well, you're pulling them into you. Okay, so I started out here, right? Here, mm -hmm. and then it's the leg. I'm basically gonna shift and face their back. And it's that, the leg that's closer to their head that goes underneath them. Wait, which is, what? Let me see your dummy. Where's your dummy's head and legs? Okay, so here's the head. Okay. Here's the legs. Got it, okay. Okay. Put your knee in to that so space. I start, I, you're, you start this way, right? Yeah. Basically your head's the same way as, you're facing the same way as them. Then you pull them up and you wanna get this this knee under. Yep, so exactly their back and then I t grab with my with your heel or whatever that am way I on my toes here or am I on my I'm, I'm like you're on your toes. On, what you're on your toes oh. yeah okay grab this mm -hmm. that's what Switch I'm saying if I get stuck where do I go from here how do put I put your right hand on the hip the far hip yeah you're gonna sit down on your left butt cheek and then pull them into you. Pull, pull, pull into that space. Do a little hip escape. There you go. Pull them into you more. And then, yeah, exactly. The other hand doesn't stay on the back of the collar. It's gonna go around the neck. Seatbelt position. Yep. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to try a crazy one that may or may not make sense um, because I don't actually know if it'll work in real life, but I really want to try it in real life at some point. Um, so we're, basi we're basically going to do a uh, reverse triangle from turtle while we're doing the goat. So, here we have our little dummy in some sort of turtle position, and we start here, right? A lot of the time, I am an asshole, and I like doing what people have called the goat, which is I like coming here and just putting all my weight on their back. And I do this to people in real life, as you know. Wait, did you say lasso or asshole? Asshole. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a lasso, I guess. Sure, why not? No, I'm an asshole. I do the goat thing. You all know this. I like doing goat. It's fun. I just You've never so goaded me, Cha. You're smaller than me. <laughs> so I do this on, on like people bigger than me a lot of the time. And I just chill here because it's this is dumb. I don't do anything from here. But I have found that you, not found, but I really want to attempt this at some point. I can do like a um, knee on belly kind of goat position, knee 
goat meat, goat meat, and I can pull because it usually I was goat. I'm uh, pulling on the neck anyway or the collar, but I want to try this, and then usually the arm is still protecting, but I think I can get here, get that arm or that leg across, come here, grab my own shin, right, and then I'm gonna roll this way and lock it, right? Again, haven't really tried this on a real human being very well, not successfully, because the arm's usually in the way, but in theory, it should totally work if their arm was not quite in the way or you end up kicking them in the face. So no, either way, I'm here in like the goat knee thing. I'm gonna pull at their neck and it gives me some space to just put my leg kind of in the space. This hand is gonna go underneath the arm and grab my own shin. I can brace myself over here, but I'm going to sit down here. I'm essentially in this position here. And I'm underneath the arm and grab my shin here. Then I'll lock that triangle and I can finish it from here by squeezing my knees together or I can get the arm bar at this position. Yeah? Yeah, I kind of remember you doing this one time at Four Elements, maybe. Possibly, but I like telling people that this is the position that Black Panther was in um, when they had that fight yeah. over the waterfall. Yeah, and when he was defending his title to rule the kingdom. Yeah, and the gorilla dude was like here as this guy, and like Black Panther was like, you know, just give up. And I was like, he's not gonna die in that position. It just sucks. But yes, that position. <laughs> totally informal class. I see. I thought you were going to be like, it was so cool, but you're really like, I take issue with how they portrayed this submission in Black Panther. Well, because I mean, like, even if you try to, like, throw him over the waterfall, I think Black Panther would have gone over the waterfall, too, because you're attached to him so, like, tightly. And the guy wasn't going to die there in the tri upside down -ish triangle. Yeah. Yes, Sarah. Okay, yeah, Mbuku w could have had his arm brutally broken, was what- Yeah, but he wouldn't have died. Otherwise, I think your analysis is correct. <laughs> yeah, but if, he had, if, if his arm had been brutally broken, then he definitely wouldn't have been able to, like, it would have been over for him. Like, basically, then he would have lost the rest of it, probably. I guess. That makes sense. <laughs> But yes, this, yeah, this I have not really totally tried on people successfully. I think I'm missing something, but maybe close. Okay, let me see it. Mm hmm Yep, grab your shin. Yep. Yeah, so don't um, put your leg over their torso. Put it to the side of them. It makes it tighter. Yep. And that's it. Then you got a triangle. You could do it that way, too. Um, you know, I don't think you actually have to do the goat on this, necessarily, but I think it's much more secure. And you're higher up, and the entry is easier. I feel like I've done something like this on you, Sarah, when you were trying to do double unders or something on me. But I did a weird leg thing like this on you, didn't I? Yeah, I don't remember.
Do you guys want to do the end of the workout workout? I don't know, I'm giving you a choice. Yes. Great. As hard as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight things on there. So put away your dummies. So, okay, so we're going to do a wall sit, hollow rock, Superman where you just lift your legs up and then just a Superman hold, and then a hollow rock again, you turn over hollow rock. Uh, Superman, or come back over to Superman and just lift up your upper body, and then Superman hold again, and then we're gonna end with the knee hovers. Just because I didn't feel like putting wall sits down. And I did, and then I was like, let's do the knee hovers since we're already gonna be in that Superman position. Why not? Does anyone need to see any of those? I'll call them all out. All rocks, got it all. What's a knee hover? Knee hover is just kind of in that all fours position, but keeping your knees like slightly off the ground. So, like, yay much. Gotcha. Yeah. It's basically like a wall sit, but just on all fours. It'll feel like a wall sit on all fours. Uh, yes. So, we're starting with wall sits. Where did my timer go? Ready? All right, next are hollow rocks. Roll over to Superman. We're just going to lift up our legs. Keep your upper body low.
All right, next our Superman hold. So lift up your legs and arms, upper body, as high as you can. Roll back over for hollow rocks. Oh. Oh. Um, next ones are Superman, upper body only. All right, Superman holds. Come on, Sarah, Superman holds. Okay, hovering knee thing, knee hover. This is basically a wall sit, kind of burning out your legs thing, as we know, since sometimes I make you guys do wall sits to hovers and that just means that there's no relief. These are fun when they're in little sports like this. It hurts them. All right, and we're done. Stop recording. 
Yikes, sweaty. Whew. Thank you, coach. Yeah.